Hello Capricorn, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be your love reading. It'll be a general love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And since it's general, it will not resonate with everyone watching. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. Check out your other placements as well for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. All right, Capricorn, let's see what we have for you. Spirit. Messages for Capricorn, please. Stars to love. Does Capricorn need to know? No one wants to come out. This is the Osho Zen Tarot deck. I'm using it as an Oracle deck. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. For Capricorn, please, Spirit. Thank you. Wow. That was quick. Okay, so we got... Oops. Guilt. So this could be you or the person you are dealing with. We got success. And mind. Interesting. So either you are dealing with a lot of guilt or someone else's. I feel like someone here, they want success when it comes to a particular connection. I feel like they're in their head about it. Um, I feel like their mind is playing games with them um, as well as what I'm getting here. Um, a lot of thinking is, is taking place here. A lot of stress possibly, or just overthinking. So let's see. So I'm um, going to use the Druid Craft Tarot deck, as you can see, is the size of my hand. So please bear with me as I try to shuffle this. But I love this deck so much. Spirit, what other messages do you have for Capricorn in regards to love? Messages for Capricorn, please. For Capricorn, please, Spirit, in regards to love. Now, whatever situation I talk about today could have already happened, be currently happening, or happen in the near future because time is fluid. Five of Wands came out. And I could be talking about you or the person you are in a connection with or will be in a connection with, okay? Because energy works that way. So let's see. What are the messages for Capricorn, Spirit, in regards to love? Nine of Cups reversed. Interesting. What else for Capricorn? The wheel. Change. And the chariot, definitely. This is that success card right there. So I do see success here due to possibly divine timing or just a burst of good luck or just the right, being at the right place at the right time here. But I also see conflict. So I'm gonna clarify all of these. There's a six of wands, more success. Victory, movement forward. Let's get one more. Someone's overthinking. I'm trying to understand why. We'll see. If you hear any noises in the background, it's my two dogs playing. Justice in the reverse. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, what do we have? Ten of Wands. So, yeah, something here is weighing heavily on someone's mind, whether it's you or the person you are dealing with. Um, there's a burden here. There's someone who is being, I just heard the word consumed. Someone's being consumed by something here. Um, and I feel like it's just causing them to feel weighed down, right? So what I see here is some sort of conflict or disagreements that are taking place, 
feeling like you're not getting anywhere, you're not seeing eye to eye with someone. This could be family, friends, coworkers, anybody in your life. This could be people involved in your relationship, some sort of interference in your connection. Um, something here is just not working out with the five of wands. Um, and then I get see the nine of cups reverse. So this is someone who has gotten their wish fulfillment in some way, but it wasn't what they thought it was going to be. It wasn't as fulfilling as they, as they thought it was going to be. This could also be someone who is a little too confident, almost overconfident here, a little smug. Um, someone here could also be drinking excessively or doing something excessively that is to their detriment or that's not helping them out in any way. But I'm really seeing this as someone who thought they had success, but it wasn't what, what they expected or it's not what they had in mind. Um, and then I feel like the wheel is going to jump in here to change things around, to take you out of this energy. Because after that, I see success and then followed by karma. So someone in your life could be having karma or there's something that you might feel is unjust or not fair to you, but it actually is evening things out. Let's get into this Capricorn. Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorn, please? Do this over here. In regards to love. Does Capricorn need to know? There's justice again. In regards to love. There's chariot again. And the emperor. These are very powerful energies. One more. Chariot again. Capricorn, please, spirit. Let's start with this five of wands. What's this five of wands about for Capricorn? What's five of wands about? Two of cups. So it's, it has to do with a connection of some sort, a partnership of some sort here. What else can you tell me about this five of wands? This could be someone that you think of as a soulmate. Nine of wands reverse. I don't know if that came out reversed. So I'm going to put it sideways. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at the two of cups. What else can you tell me about this five of wands? So there is possibly um, someone here feeling tired. There's that, you know, that burden. Someone feeling guarded in protection mode. There's that nine of cups upright. So this was a partnership that someone here saw as their wish fulfillment. But there's something here, this nine of wands, it's almost like it became exhausting or it became tiresome. Something here could be a marriage. I have the higher font at the bottom of the deck. So this is signed for Taurus. This could be um, a binding commitment or it could have been leading towards marriage. I'm also getting that some of you were on in this relationship, either you or your partner were, were in this relationship for the appearances or stayed in the relationship for the appearances because underneath it all, I'm seeing nine of wands, five of wands. I'm seeing conflict, burden. I'm seeing, you know, being exhausted, overwhelmed here. And then on the outside, I feel like it looked like this nine of cups, two of cups, but it wasn't, it was, this connect connection wasn't what you thought it was going to be. Tell me about this nine of cups, the world. Tell me more about this nine of cups in reverse spirit for Capricorn, four of swords reverse. Tell me more. more about this Knight of Cups reverse. Six of Swords reversed. So I feel like someone wanted to do something about this at some point. They wanted to move forward. They were thinking about it a lot. They were thinking about a new chapter and there's been a delay of some sort. 
This is someone that wants to leave a, really, uh, a situation that is unhealthy for something more balanced. The Six of Swords upright. When it's reversed, I think of it as a delay in being able to move forward or a refusal, a resistance to moving on. And with the Four of Swords in reverse, it's like you are thinking about it possibly too much or you're done thinking about it and want to move. You've healed, right? And you're ready to move on. But there's something blocking you from starting a new cycle here. Bottom of the deck, I have judgment. So again, I feel like there is someone that wants to take action here. That wants to have a rebirth. A new site, a new chapter in their life. Um, possibly someone didn't want to move on because of the guilt of it. Um, even though they know that once they move on, they'll be more successful elsewhere. Tell me about the wheel. Some of you have someone that is not wanting to let you go and they're causing a delay. Tell me about the wheel, please, Spirit for Capricorn. Yeah, look at this. Ten of Pentacles reversed. This is a situation. It could be a family unit or again a committed relationship that is not stable, not secure. There could be financial difficulties here. Tell me more about the wheel. Death. Sign of Scorpio. There's an ending here. An ending to a commitment to a partnership. An ending to feeling unstable ungrounded tell me more about the wheel please seven of swords someone could be trying to sneak away or there's been there's possibly been some lying or cheating or someone that tried to take advantage of a situation here someone that you couldn't trust is involved here Seven of Swords, especially in this deck, they're trying to like sneak off with their goods, you know, trying to get like um, get away unnoticed. Bottom of the deck, I have the Two of Swords. So again, that mind, that mind card, that guilt, it's almost like someone is literally stuck in making a decision here about leaving, about ending something. This is a burden. And it's almost like fate or destiny or spirit is stepping in to change this because someone's unable to do it themselves. Tell me about the chariot. This is moving forward in the right direction. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Could be dealing with a cancer, someone with cancer in their chart. Tell me more about this chariot. Oh my gosh, the chariot again. Wow, tell me more about the chariot, please, Spirit. For, thank you. So we got the Six of Pentacles upright and the Four of Cups reversed. So what I'm seeing here is someone who's trying to balance the situation out. There's a, there's almost like a um, renewed interest in something, a change of heart for you or someone in your life. Uh, someone here probably gave up on something a long time ago. It wasn't interested in an offer a long time ago. And now is like their chance to make things right, to rebalance their situation here, to move forward. Now, I feel like with the nine of pentacles reversed, this could symbolize a few things. This could be somebody who uh, is not feeling very secure at the moment, possibly going through financial difficulties. This is somebody who possibly lost self esteem, self-confidence. They're not feeling their best right now. Um, this could also be someone who is in a relationship. They're not single. This is someone who doesn't feel free. And with the chariot twice, I mean, it came out twice. It's almost like Someone's unsure about going towards this path, but they're like holding on for dear life. There's no other option for them. Maybe this is their chance. Tell 
Tell me about the Six of Wands. This is all about success, recognition. It could also be that you have a lot of eyes on you right now, Capricorn. There could be people watching you, uh, recognizing you in some way. Tell me about the Six of Wands for Capricorn, please. Six of Wands. Temperance, sign of Sagittarius. So you want to bring something together. You want to merge something here. You're trying to be patient about this as well. Tell me more about the Six of Wands for Capricorn. The Emperor reversed. Interesting. So timing is important for you or someone else here? I think this wanted to come out. Reverse, Five of Cups, reverse. Timing, okay. Um, I'm seeing a few things here. I feel like time uh, time has been a factor in your your possibly with everything that's going on. It's not the right time. You're trying to be patient, but right now you feel powerless. Something could be returning to you that you've lost in the past, or this is you overcoming a disappointment, um, feeling successful. Um, you could be dealing with someone, possibly an Aries or Sagittarius, doesn't have to be, but you could be dealing with someone who right now is trying to control the situation or regain control of a situation. I don't think if that's the case, I don't think they're, it's going to work for them. Five of Wands reversed. Yeah, it's not. Um, you're overcoming the drama. You're overcoming the arguing. Um, the 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 not the dealing with the burden. You're overcoming that. I feel like this is a burden to you. This Five of Wands, whether it means someone who is um, involved in your relationship, interfering in some way, whether it's fighting constantly with your partner. Um, whatever this is, you are overcoming it because you're finding balance within yourself. And even if you don't feel confident right now or powerful right now, um, I feel like with this six of wands, I feel like you're going to be successful eventually. I have success and success. I have victory twice here. Tell me about this justice reverse. This could signify also a divorce for some of you. Um, you could be dealing with a Libra. Things could just feel off balance right now with justice also in the reverse. This also symbolized lies. We got the fool that fell out here in the reverse. Tell me more about The magician came out upright. A lot of major arcanas in this reading. Um, very powerful energies here. Tell me more about the Justice Reverse. Two of Wands. So it's almost like someone here sees the potential. Um... And wants to go get it, wants to step out into this new path that they feel called to. They've manifested this, this opportunity. Um, but something here, again, I feel that there's something unfair or just misinformation or lies that are causing something to be off balance. Whatever that is, it's it's almost like delaying this departure, this new beginning for you. I, again, I, I feel that Capricorn, something's kind of in your way here. This could also mean that someone's not very, uh, with justice in reverse and this full in reverse, someone could not be thinking clearly or someone is almost like... Um, being needlessly reckless or or um it's like way way too risky right now but it's like this person is not doesn't care they want to go for it they are manifesting this new beginning it's going to be unfair to someone it might have to be something that you don't 
It's almost like it's going to rock your foundation in a way. It's going to tip things off balance when you make this decision to move forward in this path. But it's not going to be off balance for long, I feel, with the success card. Bottom of the deck, I have the page of pentacles. So this is all about a message of um, something that could be stable. This could be something like a job offer or something like that. This could be someone approaching you with commitment of some sort or something that leads to commitment. Um, this could be you regaining your financial footing for some of you who are dealing with finances or financial issues. Um, so I do see delays here. I see burden someone's burdened and it's weighing heavily on their mind about a particular decision i feel like it has to do with this partnership and the fact that it's it's not really working out it's not what you thought it was going to be um i'm, I'm getting the sense that someone here wants to put an end to a real a stable connection possibly um they want to transform their circumstances they want to change this is someone that is desperate for change with the wheel and death. Um, but I don't think they're having much choice in how they go about it. Regardless, you're moving forward. I see that very clearly. Whether there's delays or not, you're moving forward. And I think that ha this has to do with uh, leaving a connection to have success elsewhere. Whether it's someone that you already have in mind or it's someone that you see in your future down the line. Because I feel like you're you're doing all this for a chance. You know, this is a very small offer, this Page of Pentacles. Yeah, there's going to be... Hmm. Yeah, there's going to be movement forward, I see here. I see you drawing boundaries. I see you standing in your truth here. I see something that was not able to work out. And two people that are going to be pretty upset about this or just not handle this very well could be a water sign or a fire sign that you're dealing with um you could also be just really emotional about this decision because again i feel like you are this is weighing heavily on you or if this is the person you're dealing with they're going through something right now where they're trying to decide what to do and it's weighing heavily on them so i kind of want to see where this new path is going to lead you capricorn what are the blockages specifically and, you know, any other information that we can get is are, is new love in the horizon or a reunion of some sort. I didn't really get that in this reading. I don't think this was that type of reading. I think this reading is almost like a confirmation for some of you who are wondering, you know, if I leave this partnership, if I end something in my life, will I have success? The answer is yes. Yes. Even if you're overthinking it right now, trying to like think about it a little too much, there's going to be change in your life, a transformation. You know, once once the delays are removed or the blockages are removed, there's going to be a transition towards a new beginning completely. So I think that's what this reading is about. Otherwise, I'll leave it here, Capricorn. Thank you so much for checking out this reading. I hope it resonated with some of you. If it did, please leave me a comment. I love hearing from you. Um, hit the like button or subscribe if you enjoy my readings and I'll see you in another one. Take care.